Apparently, you would agree with me that the transfer season is real, real kicking. A lot of things are happening, and you just saw Tammy Abraham uh, granting an interview where he has just left Chelsea for AS Roma. Joining me is no other person than Joel Wankogo. Joel, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Professor. Good afternoon. Uh, Aziz Oba, nice to have you around. Good afternoon, Joel. Um, the discourse will continue pending when the games will kick off. The AFCON draws are out, uh, your take, and our focus is uh, still on Group D, but let me quickly get your take. Egypt, Nigeria, Sudan, and um, Guinea, Bissau. Yeah, you're, you're asking me who will win the AFCON or what my take off about it. If we begin to talk about who will win the AFCON, we, I think uh, we'll be we'll between <laughs> too much that we can swallow. At first, I your, think your, will win. Your assessment. Well, um, first of all, when I saw the group, I was like, okay, normal, yeah. I hope we don't get it at one stage and start doing, you know, palm three from four and all that. But because I'm talking about preparation right now, our boys have not been really, you know, coming out to do exactly what a young man should do. You know, preparation wise is sh shabby, and our players in the very club, they're not, they're not really living up to expectation right now. I know the league just started in Europe, but all the same, I just hope we get there, you know. But not, not, the groupings are not bad. But all right. Egypt, hmm. All right. I, I like I reminded Francisca, 2010 Angola 2010 is still very fresh in yeah, our memory. Yeah, seven times champion. Good. And um, I, I, am speaking honestly. If our friendlies that we put to bear uh, can be taken very seriously, we could have an impact at the Nations Cup. Do you know, or else it would be a different ball. Do you know the yeah. about the Egyptian team? They have just three players playing abroad. The rest are playing their local league. Good. I told us it's just about Sudan. Uh, Dada is telling me in 1957 today. All right. Let's move on. Let's talk some boxing. Um, Joel. Uh, Alex, well, uh, we saw what he did with the, the Tigers, a new team, a young team, fantastic team. But after he came back, he resigned. And suddenly, just yesterday, the MBBF brought out the press release and said he's slightly ill and he's technically with the... I don't understand that statement. I think uh, something is wrong somewhere. They're already coming out to tell exactly what, is, what happened. Because this man had, he had one of the worst out, I mean, outings in the Olympics. And there's something happened between this, the, the sport ministry and the basketball association. Because this man said he wants to leave. They should bring someone else. Because they're staying on his, on his reputation and his CV. You go in there, you lost a lot of games. Though, yeah, he had a good, he had a good, he had, he had good antecedent all the while. He has a good CV winning games here oh, and there. Yeah. And this man is a bit, he's, he's, he's based in the U.S. And his colleagues were like, look, you can't even take a Nigerian team to the next group and all that. So I think and he's, he has left. To me, I think he has left. The only trying to, you know, be like Spice it up for Yeah, us. you know, so that's just situation. This man has gone already. For you, um, Aziz, yes. I don't think the Tigers did badly, considering the fact that you're playing against a team that has so much experience. Um, the group of players played together in the U.S., and you're bringing young men who are so eager, ready, ready, ready to notch a name for themselves. Uh, going to the Olympics, not performing too well doesn't mean you're a bad coach. It means you need to go back, reassess your strength. But he said he's quitting. My own concern is, why is NBBF saying he's still technically with them? It, it could probably be administrative issues. We, we don't know what is happening back door. But to me, I think the, tiger, the, the Tigers had a very, very bad game in the Olympic. A couple of players from our roosters were the best players in the NBA. NBA. I think five, six of them, they were, they were all champions. They, they knew what they were getting into. They knew, they, mm -hmm. they had the experience. They had all the motivation. Everybody was, I, I, I was rooting for them to go all the way to the top. So wait. So, <laughs> <laughs> don't start. No, no, no. no, no. As in, don't start what that did you. Okay, okay. Because I, I was rooting now. for them to go all the way to the top, not to the Good goal. medal. Good. Not to and the goal. All the way to the, at least get out of the Groups the, the, the groupings. Yes, yes. yes. I, I, yes. I have such expression as not, well. Not just losing woefully like that. I, I, I felt, I, I felt bad somehow. I was like, what happened? So I felt, war I just something is wrong behind the door, and they, they want to they, take they, the they back door. They yeah. don't, they don't want the press Easy to know about it. All right, we'll, we'll get to the bottom of this issue because the MBBF says it's technically with them. We really want to know what's really happening. It's not bad. It's not that bad. They could still uh, put up a team that will go out there and perform. Let's come back to something quite interesting. I, I started to pick this story because it's a story that a lot of people don't think people are still there who are willing to give their very best. Gentlemen, an athlete went to the Olympic, got a silver medal, got back to her own country and it got to her that somebody needed money 
to perform a heart surgery. She sold a silver medal. I, 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 I saw this and I was like, wow. So stuff like this still happens. It, it goes a long way to show how, you know, how nice this woman can be, you know, um, compassionate and all that. That's just the word to use. Um, she's, she's doing this because, see, that she's, she's, she's actually showing this whole angelic kind of attitude right now. And how many athletes can do this, I mean, back home in Africa? She, she, she has done what a lot of other people, not just... Uh, most I mean, likely athletes. there are athletes, but they need somebody to show the way. Oh, well, yeah, that's true. She, she, she just did that. So, I mean, I, I expect a lot of people to follow suit and probably come back and say, look, let us assist the people. Mm -hmm. It's all about, you know, giving assistance, giving aid, support to, I mean, to less privileged. As is, I said something on this show, that's how I write it on the screen. I said something on this show that going to the Olympics, <clears throat> the creed is to participate. It's not to win. Dada and Francisca wanted to chop me right that very day. But that's just by the way. But she has not shown, because she has lost this medal. Whatever yes. she has done is in history that she was second mm -hmm. in javelin throw. Mm -hmm. But she has done something that that very uh, patient will forever be grateful for. Of course. And I think that's a legal example that we should look at yeah. in this part of the world as is. Yes, just like what you said while we were in the newsroom the other time. Somebody asked you what is money success, yeah. uh, and you were like, no, money is not success. It's just so part of it. It's just part of it. Winning the medal in, in itself, it's not success to some, some people. It is just part of the process. It's the it impact is. that winning yeah. brings to bear. Yes, yes. So to her, she's a winner. Yeah. Eventually, whether the medal is with her or it is somewhere else mm. she already participated in the olympic yeah. and she got a medal yeah it is there so i i think just like joel said i i just hope uh african players will come back home and donate so much into charity just like that mm. it, I, it, it, I, it will go a, a long way for i am looking africa. towards that angle i, I remember you have a goal why don't you try and donate to charity you have a medal we, if i if i oh it has a medal. okay oh Aziz, <laughs> Aziz, Aziz was not around during the Olympic period. I, I, I was almost strangulated by Dada. So when it became obvious that he was so eager to see gold, I brought all the goals I won in my life wow. to the studio. Wow. So if it happens to sell such gold, I will sell them. I, if it's going to I touch trust, humanity, I, I, I will trust, sell them. I trust the Duke for that. All right, let's move on. The World Youth Championship, the under 20, is starting today right there in Kenya. Beautifully, is in the continent. Our own athletes are right now showing what they have or what they can do. Esther Brume and uh, Ofoku are right in there for the 400 meter, 4 by 100 meter, and long jump. Um, for you, Joel, this is the pedestal. This is where you catch them young. And it, I don't really think the sport ministry gave it a pep. Probably they were looking at, let's go to the Olympic, pick the medals, either bronze, silver, gold, and come and celebrate. And preparation for the under 20, that is the foundation of athletics, was neglected. Are they, trying to, are they trying to make up for the Olympics or something? Yeah. No, 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 right it, no. It is yeah. sheer coincidence. The World Youth Championship yeah. was splitted mm -hmm. for Kenya yeah. this period. Yeah. But I think some other athletes should have been prepared mm -hmm. to also be there, aside the ones that went to, because S.A. Bruno went to the Olympics, yes. Ofoku himself. I, I was going to ask that. Uh, good. Yeah, so, if, even some of, the, some of the athletes we saw at the meets in Yaba, I think they are there. You know? Yes. Yeah, they are there. They are there. Well, it's, well, it's a good one for them to reach really say, look, since we don't make it in the Olympics, we can still do it in the youth, you know, uh, tournament. But my my take is, what is going to happen to this athlete in the next four years? What is happening? Now they're going to win gold in Nairobi. Where, what is the, wait? What is the pattern of? Wait, I don't like. What wait, I don't like this gold team. Let's just start first. <laughs> Let's start first. Ah, wait, <laughs> when they the start, then you cannot say the win gold. Okay, ah. Let's just say find get, get a bronze. Whatever no, medal you get. Yeah, participation. Uh -huh. Whatever medal you get. Well, now, what are you going to do with this athlete? What are the programs slated out for this to, you know, uh, take part, then prepare them for the big one? Mm -hmm. you, that is my question. You know my big concern? Joel has just said, my big concern is, we don't have a strong database. We don't have a retriever center where we can make references to. Some of these athletes, you can be rest assured that they are actually looking to Europe. Mm -hmm. And if any European country wants to poach them, they are ready to pledge their allegiance. And that's a very big problem as is. Yes. And that's because the country where we live in has refused to recognize their input. It is, it is what it is. Nobody is ready to appreciate your talent. Somebody is ready to appreciate your hard work in Nigeria. So you look to where the, the pasture is green. Yeah. That, that is just what it is. But I was not even expecting Ace Brumman last year to compete here now. Look she's, for another... she's under 20. And she needs an yeah, event she's, of this she's, magnitude. She's, she's because, she's, mind you, for her to have gone to the Olympics and come to the World Youth Championship, she's an ambassador. Yes, it yes. will also inspire a lot of other young ones mm -hmm. 
who are in there. So who, who already made her name known? Uh, her name is there already. No, her no name is there, but, but, but don't forget that she brings something to bear. She brings that mileage and that spotlight onto the championship. And we have to understand okay, that. Okay, we understand there, wasn't, there wasn't a screening program for this particular event. Yes. No, it was that less who Yeah, the part that at the yeah, Mets. At the Mets, yeah. Oh, and the two. Okay, yeah. okay. Okay, yeah. Let, let's, still, let's still concentrate on the World Youth Championship because it's of great interest that that is where the future lies. Yes. Um, I mean, they know that Adjogla Sports Council is having a tip tennis championship outdoor mm. to catch them young. Don't you think that it is time the private sector should begin to organize events like meets where families can go and relax, catch fun, see young ones run, do field events? Don't you think it's high time? Because I, w I want us to put on this campaign. It is. It is. And there's no better time than now. And I think all this just lie at the at the expense that we, we don't want to promote our own sports. We don't have a standard institution for our own sports. If probably there are academies where all these things happen, there will be sites, shows, created avenues, where you, you see people showing off their talent. Mm -hmm. Okay, talking about showing off talent, Joel, the Aisha Buari Cup is coming up. Mm -hmm. Massive preparation. Yeah. I, I, I read somewhere where um, one of the top notch in the Super Falcons was saying that it would be a grand momentum, a dress rehearsal grand for them to start preparing for the World Cup qualifiers. It, it is a grassroots competition, but the invitation is for some other African countries, uh, West African countries, to come and participate. For you, Aisha Gwari Cup, high magnitude. Can't we have other ones within the local government, within communities, and catch them young? You know, I, um, now, it all boils down to what happened to grassroots, I mean, sports generally. And this is where youth from comes in right now. What happens to school sports? I think the Aisha Bari Cup should also be classified into the oh, youth fund category. Yes. yes. Are, they, are, are they having a part in this? That's, I don't think that's, so. That's another question. So I don't think so. Basically, we have to concentrate on the grassroots. Because somebody asked me a question and I said, look, where are we getting it wrong in, in sports generally? Mm. I said, grassroots sports is dead. Because back in the days, we were called upon by merits. How you perform your secondary school? You have a games master. Mm. There are periodic games. They hold periodic games, and they and they, and they pick out the best. Because I remember way back in United Christian, then in school, they pick a lot of from nationals. I saw them play, and these guys they did very well, and they represented Nigeria very well. So, grassroots sports should be you know that emphasis has to be laid on grassroots sport, and the mandate has to come from the presidency, not just the Ministry of Sport right now, from the presidency to local government, corporate bodies, and I, you're talking about corporate bodies right now. What are the policies? You're asking, you're asking yeah. me to come and bring my money to we, we have, but the prudency and accountability process is where the issue. The policies are there. The Ministry of Sports have it. No, what I mean is, now, for example, I'm, I'm, I'm a production company. You know, I'm doing this, I'm doing that. I employ people and stuff. Now, you're asking me to bring my money. What Into am I getting in return? It's spelled out, but how do you manage it? That is where the issue is. It is spelled out. Oh, Why do you manage it? Because for every brand that is given there's a value yes, yes. it is that value that has not been defined this is where the issue is so invariably we're saying the, the the required manpower we don't have it we have it but we don't have it we don't have the management that's, that's just, it. just what it is okay, okay. Uh, we don't want to take a cue on the last one because uh, what's his name the team captain said something his coach that took him to the last the the the, the, the before japan that made him won the silver was dropped uh, that's that that's that's what um, he said the politics in the game. <laughs> As is, let's just stick with the World Youth Championship. What's your expectation, considering the fact that um, every other African country have a clear focus that Nigeria is a competitive ground to meet? At, I, I think at underage, we are always performing very well. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I would look for us for excellence. We, at underage? Yes. With we, due respect, take that word back. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I think, he, I think he, he, when he said that word he just said, he was trying to talk about under 17. Don't mind me. No, Football team. Don't, that's, no, don't, don't mind me. That's where you're going. No, I, just, I, 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 I mean, actually, I just wanted to put your leg. I just wanted to put your leg. You're on the right spot. Yes. It's, 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 like, it's like what I was telling me this afternoon, that the real people who <laughs> win good for us already in Tokyo. <laughs> we'll, we'll get to do not to worry. <laughs> All right. We're wishing our athletes back there in Kenya the very best as they go out to compete. It's um, a four days event and we actually hope that they will do us proud and come back and become future stars. Let's come back home to uh, what is really happening right here. 
when you do well, people will definitely applaud you. They will appreciate you, and appreciation comes in different dimensions. As I speak with you, Governor Deary of Bayasa State is saying a big thank you to the Bayasa team men and women who came for their TO Cup and won it, and also Oburududu, who got a silver medal right there at the Olympics in Tokyo. Now, well, this is good tidings, and I hope uh, a lot of people will follow suit, not just the state government appreciating these ones. Oh, well, yes, I mean, we, we, we keep seeing this happen, but um, it's, it's the eighth one of the world, you know, two teams in the same state winning the ITO Cup, the male and the female. It's, it's so beautiful. Um, I'm happy to Kudos to the Commission of Sports. Yeah, big time. Daniel Nagali. Mm -hmm. And also, um, it's a wake-up call for our governors, or, I mean, um, leaders, so to speak, to say, look, we have to really appreciate these people for even having that time to train and go out and represent your country. Because we've seen cases where athletes go out and represent their country, get injured, and they abandon these people. Mm. So I'm very, I'm very sure with this kind of motivation, it's going to wake up a lot of dead cells. Mm. You know, dead cells and people that, look, I want to do this, they're going to come out and really give them their best and possibly get more funds. Okay, as is for you, um, money is not everything. I think some of these athletes too should be encouraged educationally, uh, set up endowment fund to encourage them to read. Because uh, in the world right now, it is education and sports. Mm. Yes, of course that should that should be part of it too. Because we need a lot of players in the game who have gone to study the game, not just playing in the game, but also gone through the four walls of the classroom, so that they can take up management courses too and then can come in and input the game. Because I feel most probably the problem we have in Nigeria is because politicians manage almost everything that has to do with, the with, with uh, sports and all. So they just bring up that corrupt mentality into the sports institution too, and then everything is bastardized. Did I just underline that word corrupt? Uh, uh, oh, why? Okay. Why should you? <laughs> well, that's the picture of the governor there with Oburu Dudu. Um, she was given four million naira, and each player in the Bayasa male and female team got one million naira each. And at wow. this point in time, it is quite good money to do some few things That's with. All right, we'll take a break. Huh? When we we'll come back as we round up the show, we'll be looking at the massive debt Barcelona says they are owing and the transfer news about Tammy Abraham. We'll be right back.